It's just I gotta get drill removed. That's all I want. Sleepy brain is bad for uh, quickly hitting buttons in the right order. Oh, now we don't have a snowy world. Life is pain. Life is pain. Just terrible, terrible stuff. Woo, 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 woo. Come on, game. I need, I need iron now. Give it. There we go. It's like there always is a deposit pretty close. There we go. That's just enough to get started. All right, gotta gotta have these muscle memories in here. What buttons to hit and when? Actually, this is where we want to start our next layer. There we go. I already got more. Perfect. Still have plenty of time. Come on. Hopefully, we find the giant drill bird again. Not that we know how to use it. Uh, let's get me move faster for now. You know what? I'm happy because we're still in a giant mushroom world. Giant mushroom world's good. Got spores everywhere. All right, let's go. So we tried feeding the giant drillbert water. We tried iron. We tried cobalt. And nothing happens. So it might just be find it and win a run? Or I suppose it could also be find it and, like, give it an artifact. Like, we could try giving it one of our upgrades. We just didn't have one to offer it. And I'll do whatever it takes to get drillbert mode. Yep. Yeah. I need to upgrade my drill already. That didn't take long. Woof. I should have gone to drill first. Would you like the answer? Yes. Yes, I would. I just want to have my drill promote. Get out of here. So far, so good. <laughs> Didn't skip a beat. No, I know what I want, and I want drill removed. There are some games where, like, figuring that out would be the point. Not this one. I just want to hang out with my good, my good friends. Uh, I knew it. I knew it would have to involve unlocking drill mode. See, that's a problem, because that's a random thing. Now it's not random. Now we have Drillbert. All right, we got our good friend. Our, our very good boy is here. We'll set him to work on this layer right here. Oh, come on, I need, I need more iron. I just need to upgrade my drill. It's so bad down here already. Good work, Drillbert. I hope we find your mom soon. That does make sense, then. All right, let's hope that that is a guaranteed spawn and not some sort of randomized one. Get out of here! Alright, where are you gonna go? You kidding me? Alright, it took a- it took a light scraping. 
Good work, Drillbert. I'll go this way. We have all... We have one of the pieces we need for unlocking what we want. Here we go. This is what I'm after. There it is. That's all I needed. Perfect. Take four back. Got plenty of time. So some of the weird upcoming or like just niche games that have been sent my way that we are going to take a look at in the near future. We got Wall Worlds, which we're doing after this. I have one game about like managing a <laughs> poorly managing like a a group of losers in a military setting, I think. It's like try and build your own little military camp. And that looks like a fun management game that I'm going to be very good at. And one that's very interesting is... It's kind of a... a Pictionary kind of game. It's a, it's a chat party game. Where you are given artwork put together by an AI and you need to figure out what the prompt was. And that looks like it might be... might be interesting. <laughs> Mortuary Assistant, not not a niche game that's coming out soon that the developer sent me a key for, but we are going to play more Mortuary Assistant at some point. Trick is that game does make me physically ill for some reason, so I have to, like, pick and choose my times. Uh, what do I got? Four? I would like six, so we'll save up a little bit. All right, Laser, where are they coming from? And Tactics Ogre, I do want to start. There's just so many games. Finding the time for them all is hard. Yeah, that would be the scary one. Or a quote-unquote scary one. I don't find it scary, but I do find it nauseating. There's something about what they, they do with the, the field of view in that game that really just sends me right to Pukesville. But I also think my monitor is partially to blame. It's why I was rearranging my desk setup. My monitor's pushed back now. It's it's on my windowsill. I, I have a plank of wood allowing me to push it partially onto a windowsill. Which is giving me more space, which ideally means... I'll be a little bit better off now. Good work, Drillbert. Daddy loves you. That one doesn't have a VR mode. Or does it? I don't notice it on... Uh, Steam's pretty good about putting anything that's even remotely compatible in there. I'm trying to make a uh, fucking... What is it called? Fat... Fiesmophobia. I'm trying to, like, get that to run good, but that's a very poorly optimized game at the best of times. Ah, the Virtual Boy. Now that would make it work. Get out of here. He's my Leave my dome alone. I'm sorry I crushed one of your children. It's not that big a deal. Grow up. Oh, wait. I can get Reflect now. I finally figured out one of the optimization menus for for Phasmophobia. I got it running a little bit better now, because I would like to do that in VR. That might make that game a little bit more uh, exciting for me. Phasmophobia. Today, while trying to research, like, refresh rates and stuff on monitors and why sometimes I, I get headachy and nauseous, I learned about a new thing today. Cyber sickness. Hadn't heard about that. I don't think that's my problem because, like, I could play certain stuff for hours and hours and hours and not have a problem. 
it's very specifically like certain certain things, certain types of movement on screen. But hey, now you know there's a thing called cyber sickness. Uh, laser beam, I really wish you would focus on the little guys. You're very good at them. Is that what they're calling it? Just for everything is motion sickness. Like... It's probably related to motion sickness, what happens to me. But it's very much tied to, like... Before this monitor, I never had a problem. There's something about this monitor. And again, this monitor is great. I love watching movies on it. But there's something about it that really fucks with me when it comes to certain types of games. It's weird. Now I'm gonna get asked for that! God, I hope so. I hope I could just really infect, like... Anyone watching with ads. <laughs> Specific ads, not just ads in general. Let your phones listen to the stream. Make sure they hear. Man, Trilbert's so cute. They all make you feel the same way. I guess it is fairly similar to what I would call, like... It's almost like seasickness. Like, sometimes on a boat, I can, I can feel pretty bad, but it really depends on, like, what did I eat that day? How bad is the motion? Like, a lot of, a lot of variables. Faster reflect, please. But there is like a different monitor I can swap out. But I like this one. It'd be kind of annoying. Oh my god, we definitely got a new drill. Gotta get a new drill for that. That's some tough rock. Little gremlins. Get him, laser! Okay, you handle that side. I'll handle this side. Whoop. Trillbert? What are you doing over here? Probably taking a nap, and that's fine. You're, 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 you've been working hard. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the yeah, the good stuff's here. Alright, can't carry it all. Let's take what we can and get out of here. It's fine if we're slow. Good morning, Drillbert. Now we just gotta find Mama Drillbert and unlock Drillbert mode. That's all we gotta do. Come on! This is so heavy! Really, really motoring along here. So fast. <sighs> oh, come on, they're gonna get here soon. I refuse to go back or drop anything. Like we're we're gonna we're gonna get it. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, we're okay. Just reflect that at him. Take one of them out. Whew, okay. You can play Horizon Forbidden West with mild to moderate motion sickness on my TV, but if I hook my PlayStation 4 to my computer monitor, I can't play it at all. Way too motion sicky. There's definitely, like... There's an aspect of monitors that impacts video games in an interesting way, and I, I feel like it's refresh rate, maybe. Something that's, like, imperceptible, but definitely fucks with your eyes and your head. And that's what I'm trying to suss out.
It's weird, right? Like there, there's something about that game that's interacting in some kind of fashion with your monitor that's causing the problem. Come here, buddy. You go that that way over there. Oh my god. I don't like that we've ended up with a uh, a not symmetrical strip mining operation down here. I don't like it. All right, we got we got to fix this up, which is what we're trying to do. I guess we will go over here on this level, and that'll be how we fix it. Yeah. No, not Drillbert. You drop Drill. Drop Drillbert. You go that way. He sounds like from Donkey Kong Country when you select Diddy Kong. When you grab him by mistake. Come on, come on, come on. Like, maybe a curved monitor would, would alleviate some of my problem. I just gotta try different things and see. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade the sword, too. Oh, uh, we're alternating who we're hitting. Okay. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Where'd you go, Drillbert? Hey, buddy. Good. We're almost to the end of this. Which means we can turn you around again. So where am I putting him down? Just one layer deep. Right here. Get to it, buddy. I'll help you. I'll help you dig through here, because we're going to have to set you down again. Two down. One. Two. And then a third. And this is where we're having you dig. Grab a few of these. Get upstairs. Start the next wave. Ah, oh, good. Plenty of iron. We could upgrade a few things now. Well, not now, but soon. After this wave. Go, little laser beam. Do I have enough to just Im improve my sword a little bit? Slice improve. Perfect. There we go. Oh, so much better. I wish I could, like, tell the little laser beam what to prioritize, because it's really good at dealing with the little gremlins, so I always wanted to go for the gremlins. Just go after the little guys. Bully them. Take what we can get here. Very helpful, very helpful. Well, now, if you do any, any digging around to figure out how to improve your life, you let me know. <laughs> I'm trying to make it easier for me, too. Today, I was like, I'll swap these monitors and see if that works out, but the inputs are different. This one has a display port and an HDMI, and I use both of those, and the other one has an HDMI and then, like, a DVI, and it's like, ugh, I have to find adapters. I have them lying around. But 
but it will be weird. Like from my primary from computer to monitor input, I would probably need to use the DVI because the other input, the HDMI, is for the console capture, and I definitely need to preserve the audio input from there. So I wouldn't be able to just use... Just use the HDMI there. Really? OLED screens give you motion sickness? Pulse with mod modulation can be a thing that triggers it. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had that issue with my phone, so I don't think I have that particular kind of problem. And all phones are moving to them. It's because, like, as far as crisp and clear displays go, that's a very, uh, a very good way to go, but clearly bad for some people. I didn't even know that could be a thing. Improve our shields. So we have to choose an upgrade tree here. Reflects incoming projectiles. We already have Reflect on the sword, so I think instead we'll go with uh, either Invulnerability or Electroblast. What do we get on this tree here? So we have Invulnerability, and then an extra Invulnerability that happens when the shield runs out. And then a long period of vulnerability when your dome's about to be destroyed. And after two waves, it can come back online. Interesting. So that's like the uh, fire and forget kind of thing. Make it so you don't have to worry about your dome. And this is the more active, like, destroy enemies ability. We've done Electroblast. I don't think I've ever done invulnerability. Let's go with the invulnerability path. It's a crapshoot. That's rough. And with, like, in-person shopping being a thing that's just harder to do these days, everything being the internet, you don't really have the, uh, the luxury of just going into a store and, like, sitting down and trying it out. At least not with any kind of, like, decent selection to play with. About halfway to the next wave. I imagine Drillbert's taking a nap over there. We gotta go find him. Let's huck these up here real fast. <sighs> like, again, by the time we get down there. What'd you have for dinner, PJ? Uh, we'll just start that first. Bacon cheese Bubba Burger. Not bad, not bad. Come on, let's go. And dead. Come on, laser, recharge! You know, just do a little repair work here. Just feel a little safer that way. Drill Bert! Where are you, buddy? You go that way. I'll handle the the iron there. Oh, nice. Yes! It's happening! And you know what? That's fine. Like, he's still on an appropriate layer. Alright, we just gotta unlock treats, and we can do it. We'll be there. We'll have our new... our new mode. Grab a few of these for the road. 
Let's go upgrade Drillbert to have snacks. A cat? That's a Drillbert. Drillbert will work much longer. Treats. All right, baby. Bring Dilbert a treat. Are we talking about up here? That is a little kiwi bird. My pet is a little kiwi bird thing. Is that a cat ass? That's what I was like, what? Oh, it was probably just like one of the little animals that you could sometimes find down there. I unlocked the treat thing, right? Treat grow with the nest under the dome. Take them to Drillberts. All right, I'm just going to wait for a treat to grow. Come on, treat. What's my opinion on Bark's root beer? Hmm. I don't dislike Bark's root beer. It wouldn't be my favorite root beer, but I like it. Other than it's got bite. It's like a middle tier root beer, I would say. I will drink it. I enjoy it. I don't dislike it at all. I enjoy the bite. Like, the bite's referring to the caffeine content. Most root beers are caffeine free. I don't necessarily need the bite. Lift! Oh, baby. We got the only thing I ever want. Other than Drillbird, obviously. What's my opinion of Dr. Pepper? I like Dr. Pepper quite a bit. Dr. Pepper is like uh, upper tier on my tier list of sodas. I believe the bite refers to the, uh, the, the caffeination. It's like the only caffeinated root beer, isn't it? I could be wrong. I, this could be a false memory. Lord knows I am filled with like false memories. I'm just staring at my shield over there, trying to see what's going on. Yeah, I'm feeling better today. Why'd you ask, uh, Mr. Joe? Are you ranking, ranking sodas? Doo -doo. Who's hungry? Yeah. We got new the Drillbert. Oh my God. Oh my God. Multiple Drillberts. Go that way. <laughs> Just those two. Short list. Yeah, I like Dr. Pepper a lot. It's like one of my favorite sodas. It's working. It's just slow. Whoop, I gotta go. So we got iron on the right. Wait. 
It stops because there's a wave. That's why it's not working right now. Laser beam, we have bigger problems. the little cashews. There we go. Now the lift's operational. Those little cashews are annoying. I mean, I am the imperialist that showed up on their planet. They should hate me more than I hate them. He's got his little Drillbert snack. He's ready to go. We got double Drillberts down there working hard. Well, I said working hard just so they decided to take a nap. We all do it over here. Wake up. Nice. Nice, more iron. All right, we can have Drillbert mode for real after this. Curious how, like, as a mode it will play as opposed to just, you know, having more Drillberts. Ah, oh, he's going to show up in the wrong spot. He made it over. What a champion. Oh, well. Shit. I already gotta go. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Wow, they tore through my shield. What's going on up there? What do I got? Six? What could I do with six? Yeah, potion craft's a good one. Autonomy would be nice. Increase the power of the stun beam. The stun laser cools down faster, shoots longer. That's the one I want. So let's grab that and then... Ooh, area damage. That's based on this one? But also, we should, uh, more, more lift ability. Stop. Screw you! Nice, 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 nice. All right, lift is doing its work. Two, three. I really enjoy the passive movement of materials. It's much less frustrating than like painstakingly doing it by hand. They all wake up, then they go back to bed. Like, ah, no one told us to turn around. Huck this over here. All right, Drillberts. Turn around. 50 degrees outside and I'm living! <laughs> I prefer colder weather myself.
All right, I'm sure the lift will handle the rest for me. Let's hit back up. How you doing, Sally? Hmm. Game with the best soundtrack. You're down to about 158. 42 pounds lost. Wow, congratulations. Best soundtrack. You can just have just have jeans and t-shirt on. Ideal. That's fair. Like I, I'm I'm comfortable in like 40. 50's fine though. I wouldn't turn away 50. See over here it's like 60 right now, and like I want it a little bit less. Sunshine makes me feel like I took a party drug. <laughs> I prefer darkness. You think the Soul series? I mean, series is a different question. Just individual games. I do very much appreciate the uh, the Bloodborne soundtrack. I don't know if I would put that as my best, though. My favorite. <coughs> I really like the Nitro Kid soundtrack a lot. <coughs> it's kind of a tough question, actually. <coughs> Metroid has phenomenal soundtracks. Like, I, I haven't even really played, nor did I particularly like when I tried it, uh, Metroid Prime. But, like, the Metroid Prime soundtrack is awesome. It's really good. <laughs> Trombone champ. We do have to get back in there. There there have been updates. There are more songs in there. I take Despot's game over. But Despot's game has a really good soundtrack. You make it sound like it has a bad soundtrack. Krath, what's going on, bud? Thank you for that raid. I'll never understand your intense dislike of the Souls franchise. <laughs> Indifference I could get, but like, you seem to actively dislike that one. It's a good soundtrack, but not top of the list or anything for you? Huh. Well, thank you for those bitty bits. And also, thank you for that resubscription. All the spam, all good spam, though. Returnal, how are you enjoying Returnal? I, I very much appreciated my time with that one. I still have to finish that game. We got to the final boss of that game and I was just like... This guy sucks and I haven't come back yet. I, I gotta go back there and, uh, and finish the job. How'd you get separated from all of your brothers? Where are they? Come on, come on, come on. If you like those kind of things. See, if you like those kind of things, they're not fine anymore. If you like those kind of things, they are basically like the best of that genre. Push back on what I think is unfounded praise. But I don't think it's unfounded praise. You could say it's very popular and you want to push back on a popular thing. But usually people are praising it for fairly founded reasons. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop that. Get out of here. Whew. You were like that with Blizzard back in the day? See, again, like, when Blizzard was making, like, Warcraft 2, at that point, it's like, yeah, they're making, like, possibly the best real-time strategy of that particular timeline. That particular timeline. That particular time period. But eventually, they got left behind. And, like, when people were still giving that same praise, I was also a little bit critical. It's like, yeah, but, like, we have better versions of this now. 
that's definitely where I was at with like Diablo three, where it's like, God, this they haven't like improved the formula for this game at all. It's weird. We have so many better examples of this now. But when it comes to like the souls like people have been making worse versions. We haven't gotten like better versions yet. Warcraft 3, World of Warcraft, Diablo 2. I think that's fine. Although Diablo 2 was the best version of that at the time. But definitely no longer. Uh, if you guys fall and start digging down there, that's fine too. One of you managed to breach the gap. Why are you so much faster? Diablo 2 was a Skinner box. Yeah, but if like you were looking for that kind of action RPG, it was the best version. I got three drillbirds. I mean, we're trying to try. We have unlocked drillbird mode. We haven't turned it on yet. But I, I feel like this is a preview of what drillbird mode will be, which is many drillbirds. I was very premature on activating that invulnerability shields. Get out of here! Game's like, oh, he, he took that upgrade where he can reflect bullets. Only send the ones with the bullets that don't ever hit the targets when you reflect them. All right, we have plenty of upgrade money right now. Let's grab that and grab that. Now we have no upgrade money. Do, do, do. I could probably stay and upgrade my drill a little bit. So, Kreth, what did you think of Returnal? What's your experience like so far? What are your thoughts? Yeah, Diablo 1 was very good. I still prefer, like, the overall feel of Diablo 1. Like, it felt like a horror game, and less like an action video game. You beat the last boss, now the game is hard, but fun. Alright. Sleepy babies! So yeah, we got some sleepy babies over here. Gotta wake them up! Oh, almost that time. Just drag our garbage to the middle and move on. <laughs> it's weird for me to think about a time when they were praised for colorful graphics. <laughs> Teleporting douchebags here. Did we get the teleporter? Is he dead now? Or he just leave? Ah, much better now, much better. You know, I might turn you guys around. Dollar Tree for snacks, huh? I should really pay more attention in there. Like, I go in there when I want, like, a, a scrubby stick for the sink. I'm like, yeah, get a new new scrubber for, for the, the dishwashing experience. I haven't really checked their snack aisles, though. I should. What kind of stuff? What's your favorite things? What are you picking up over there when you want snacks? Hey, 
Anyway, good soundtracks. Yeah, I still, like, again, Bloodborne. I listen to the, uh, the Maria boss fight theme pretty often. That is one of my favorite songs. It's just good. Mighty Odin, hello there. But overall, like, I tend to really like uh, upbeat EDM stuff. And so, like, games like Katana Zero has a phenomenal soundtrack. I really like Despot Game soundtrack. Every Metal Gear Solid game has really solid entries. None of those have ever been my favorite. Like, I think they're good soundtracks. They definitely, like, fit what's going on. Five had a lot of, like, just real music. What are you shooting up there? Oh, that's what you're shooting. Easiest wave ever. Jalapeno cheddar potato skins, pickled sausage, and cane sugar lemonade. They have frozen, like, happy things in there. I really gotta look more in that store. I've, I've never, never noticed that. You know, Mega Man, like, all the Mega Man games have pretty great soundtracks. Hey, buddy, what happened up there? I mean, we fed Mama Drillbur once. I can feed her again and see if something else happens. Devil May Cry, that's one I didn't think about, but that also has a great soundtrack going on. We'll see if something happens if we give her more food. Where was she? There she is. Well, we get more Drillbert. Oh my god! That's so much Drillbert. We have five Drillberts right now. We're at the end of the map, so it doesn't matter, but... No, it's it's normal mode, but this is how you unlock Trilbert mode. 16, huh? Put a bomb on there. <sighs> Only one. I'm gonna be able to do it right now. Good work, Laser. You're doing a great job. Oops, all Drillberts. <laughs> Risk Rain 2 does have a good soundtrack. Risk Rain 1 has a really good soundtrack, too. Yeah, I really like Risk Grade 1 soundtrack. Alright, it's really hard to dig down there. Drillbert, you go over here. Let's go find other Drillberts. We have so many Drillberts. Guys, they sound like the armadillo from the vampire dies in no time. No! Cheddar bugles, some extra spicy onion rings, birthday cake flavored milk, peach iced tea, Arnold Palmer spicy pickles, and other things I can't remember. That all sounds good. As someone who also has fairly childish taste, I'm not judging. Not judging at all. It's a pretty, 
pretty big map for a small map, I gotta say. More drill birds. We need more drill birds. We need pictures. Picture of drill birds penis. More of them. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Is it a new one or did he come back? I wonder if we can get more drill birds. What am I five in the evening? On my desk. Do do do. Ba da ba. Oh. oh my god, we're gonna get more drill birds? Impossible! So many drillbirds. That's seven drillbirds now. I wonder if like drillbird mode starts you off with the drillbird mama. I'm left to dig up the hard stuff? Come on! There's so much iron here. Jesus, I'm gonna put all the drill birds just right here digging left. So I can get all this very hard to mine iron. They're so heavy. Can we just dig straight down here and send you to the right? That'll work. Good work, everybody. Have fun digging that way. Oh my god. Super effective. Just completely strip mine this whole place. I'm at 10. Not quite yet. Ooh. Have a bomb. Will I get more? Surely, surely you can't get me more, Gilbert. Incredible. We have so many Gilberts. Come along, my children. There's work to be done. I can hear all of them sleeping down there. Get to work. So much, so much iron down here. All right, all right. Let's let's have you go down another layer. The sound of a thousand drillbirds napping. An ironic amount of iron. What's going on, Ephemeris? Alright, we gotta go up.
Go, 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 go. What are we up to? 17, huh? 20. How many drill bits do you need? All of the drill bits. I require all of the drill bits. Six and two? Yeah, sure, let's go for it. Overcharge a shield will also prolong any shield battle ability used in the next wave. So we could use water to over shield. Over shield. We had eight. And just better shields. Oh, I think we have the mode unlocked. We just need to finish the run to see it. Overflow. Gotta, gotta break the game if you want to unlock the drillbert mode. Surely we don't get more drillberts. That'd be madness. It's impossible. Come, children. All the way down. Well, this is this is the bottom here. We're we're good. I love the drillbirds. All right, we could we could engage the end of game here. Let's just try and drag everything up. Drag as much up as I can. Come on. Even when I lose stuff, it'll just get picked up by the elevator anyway. Get our last upgrades. Defend against one lave. Go grab the end of game item. And then we could experience the proper drillbert mode. Come on. Come on, we're almost there. And just in time. Only seventeen. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. You know, just for poops and haha's, I'll take that. Don't need to upgrade drill brick because we're we're done here. We can go with both those. I see. Okay, cool. We have some sort of Studio Ghibli type monsters coming over here. Oh my god, these things have a lot of health. A lot of health? You still have poops and ha-has? 
I'm glad you enjoy poops and ha-has. <laughs> I stole that from my sculpture professor in high school, in uh, college. High school, I wish, I wish I had a, a sculpture class in high school. More children join us. I always thought it was funny that he said poops and ha-has, because he cursed in every other way. He would tell me stories about dirty dicking pranks. It's like, what's dirty dicking? It's like when you rub your penis on something and then they don't know it. So, you know, you know rub, rub their toothbrush on your penis? That's a dirty dicking right there. Like, and yet you say poops and ha-has instead of shits and giggles. But it's so much better. Like, poops and ha-has is just better than shits and giggles. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't advocating for it, but he was talking about, like, when he was a, a child, a high school student, way back when. He's just like, that's the kind of pranks you could expect were dirty dickin' pranks. So again, not advocating. No, this is a college professor of mine talking about when he was, like, a child. Oh, I'm out of water. Well... Oh, it's a very aggressive wave. Wow. Good work, artifacts. Yeah, as an adult, now, definitely. But again, he wasn't advocating for it. He was telling stories about when he was a kid, and he's just like, that's what they would call it. Because I would tell stories about, like, yeah, I pranked my roommate by replacing, like, the end of their toothpaste with, like, um, the numbing agent you use for, like, your teeth. So when they brush their teeth, it numbed their whole mouth. And he's like, that's a good prank. Unlike when I was a kid, all we had were dirty dick and pranks back then. Like, that was the context for this. Well, no, you're not rubbing your penis on other people. Like, you would be rubbing <laughs> your toothbrush. Thank you! Barb Blueberry, very good name, to the Shake the Box family. Very happy to have you here. You chose an interesting time to follow, but I still appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, we unlocked the mode we wanted. 